Welcome back to the Roundtable, I'm Oshrik Vaughn. In my humble opinion, Cartoon Network and Adult Swim have always been the pioneers of taking risk and having diversity in the world of animation. And by that I mean their programming is f***ing weird. Gay alien rocks and talking fast food? Really? Yet they still managed to make it work. A huge factor in what has made these networks so innovative were their programming blocks. The Moxie Show, the original Cartoon Planet, and of course Tsunami all set off chain reactions on how we consume animated content. Boomerang and Adult Swim started off as programming blocks on Cartoon Network before becoming their own thing. Well, boy howdy, they may be planning to change the game again as it seems as if they're launching a new programming block, Adult Swim Jr. Ironic, I know. As early back in September, a buffer began airing during breaks promising Adult Swim Jr. to debut in Spring 2018 followed by details coming soon. And considering how Adult Swim drenches itself in satire, many wrote this off as a joke, yet two things come to mind that prevents me from writing this off as a mere joke. First off, Adult Swim never just dips their toe in parody. They dive right in and drown in it. If this was just a joke, I feel like they would have elaborated a lot more. Saying their lineup consists of shows like Aqua Baby Hunger Force and A Pup Named Mike Tyson, Family Boy, clearly fake, dumbed down, junior fight versions of the programming. Here, it's just, well, an announcement, and then radio silence. That's typically not like Adult Swim unless they're actually, well, serious, as few and far between those moments are. Second, once again we're bringing up the Steve Houlette article that mentioned all the animated projects currently in production. If you missed yesterday's video on Tiggle Winks, the list of said pilot popped up on that list months before anywhere else giving it a whole lot more validity and confidence. Other shows on there were Infinity Train and Vincent Valentino under the Adult Swim label. Now obviously these shows wouldn't make much sense on Adult Swim proper, but both pilots were huge with the teenage demographic. What could this mean? Well the answer in that lies on the explanation of what Adult Swim Jr. could possibly be. And I think it's a simple one. It's a home for animated series that are too mature for Cartoon Network, but don't definitely meet the requirements or need in the first place for Adult Swim. And considering both Infinity Train and Vincent may end up on this block, it looks like not only are they catering to a specific audience, but those being the young adults who adored the pilot so much in the first place. A focus on story-driven, deepest lore series. And honestly, I'm all for that. Because serialized stories on Cartoon Network do not have a good track record. Adult Swim Jr. being a platform for animation that's targeted towards a specific teenage young adult demographic is perfect and opens a gate of golden opportunity. Finally, animation fans can stop damage controlling with their Darkest Moments compilation and going, this is a kid's show? At every other scene. Because we at the round table would never base an entire video around so much dark moments in a children's show. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, finally eliminating the awkward barrier of yeah, this is a kid's show, but it's really deep and serious, and having a definitive category for shows that blur the line is a game changer. We could have more projects like Samurai Jack Season 5, which, although I don't have the most positive outlook on it due to the final episode, it was able to stay true to its roots while having the bench of the whims of the SP. It didn't go above and beyond with swearing and gore just because they could. It still felt like a Samurai Jack show, mostly. Shows that are mature, take itself seriously, but still have lighthearted humor. Featured child or teenage protagonists, but don't have to dance around death and make jokes that barely go over a kid's head. This could also be a response to children's animation becoming more and more progressive. With LGBT representation or themes like racism, and if taking a life is right or wrong, the end is twice the means. Messages and brain-rattling questions that seem to be popping up more and more in modern-day cartoons. Not saying that they're trying to remove such things from children's programming, as these are lessons that are important to teach children, but rather they want to be able to discuss said topics extensively without being censored. It's important to note that within the past few days, Steve Hulett clarified that, as far as he's concerned, Infinity Train is not an Adult Swim show, but is greenlit for 10 half hours. 10 episodes are the typical order for Adult Swim shows, so if it's not on Adult Swim, but he was also informed that it would be airing on something that sounds an awful lot like Adult Swim. I can now understand how he got these shows airing on Adult Swim mixed up. Being told something's going to be airing on a place called Adult Swim Junior, you can easily drop that suffix in translation. Now, Vincent and Valentina was spotted on the Cartoon Network Summer Tote Bag by Drew Green, and he specified they were very particular on what shows were represented. But keep in mind, Adult Swim Junior may have not been conceived at that point. And just because shows are produced at Cartoon Network Studios doesn't mean they'll end up on the network. Case in point, close enough. It's being produced at Cartoon Network Studios, but oh boy, that show's not coming anywhere near Cartoon Network. So Adult Swim is still a viable candidate to be the home for Infinity Train and Vincent. If Adult Swim Jr. is what we think it is, this could also be the perfect space for a certain sequel series about the adventures of a bald-headed operative of galactic proportions. Maybe. 
I'm really rooting for it. Stay tuned for updates as the story unfolds leading up to the spring season. We'll be delivering the news on Adult Swim Jr. right to you every step of the way. But as always, what do you think? What shows do you want to see on Adult Swim Jr.? And while I believe it's too late for the series, would you want to see something like Steven Universe make the jump to the block? I don't think they'd let that happen, but you never know. Drop your thoughts in the comments below or tweet them directly to me at Osher Claus. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at RoundtableVids, and on Snapchat at RoundtableYT. Follow us for updates and shenanigans. We have a Discord, Amino app, and Patreon. Swing by our store to cop some mighty fine Roundtable merch, like this shirt right here. If you enjoyed this video, please sort of like, share it with your friends, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, it really helps us out. Check out some of our other videos, like uh, this one and uh, this one. Hit that bell for notifications so you don't have to miss a single thing concerning Adult Swim Jr. I hope you have a beautiful day, and Ostrich Vots, signing out.